and welcome to Journey with the Kellers. My name is Amanda Keller and today we are back in the Keller kitchen. So today we are going to be making something from the unofficial Home Alone cookbook. Home Alone is my favorite Christmas movie, the first one and Lost in New York number two. I love them both. I actually really want to go on a vacation to New York and stay at the hotel, the Plaza Hotel, um, and at Christmas time and do a little Christmas vacation there. So far, I haven't gotten to do it. Maybe this year. We'll see. Okay, so today's uh, recipe is actually fairly, fairly easy. It's called Airport Scramble. And of course, you know, they were all running late at the beginning of the movie, which is why Kevin got left behind. Um, so, uh, and I've also got some sausage going over here that we're going to be having with us. So we are having breakfast for dinner, mainly because most of us don't eat breakfast in the house, so it's just easier to fix it for dinner. Okay, so this is actually for two servings, and I have already kind of started it because I need more than two servings, um, so I already have some eggs in my bowl. But this is the recipe. So what you're going to do is take four eggs, so here is one, and you're gonna crack them into the bowl. Then two. Then three. And four. Okay, there we go. Then you're gonna add, I think it says a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Let me check. Uh, yes, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to add a little bit more than that because I have more than just, just those four eggs in there, okay? You're going to go ahead and whisk that on up here. Whisk it, whisk it, whisk it. Always remember whisking is short, strong, circular, Whips, that's what my mom would always say. And just do this, this don't do it. Gotta be tight, circular whisk. Make sure you get those, all those egg yolks and change directions every once in a while, okay? Still got an egg yolk surviving there, look at that baby. There we go, okay. Oh, oh, is there another one? Let's see here. Okay, oh, there he is. I knew he was there somewhere. Okay, I think I got them all now. Okay, now before we get these in the pan, it does say to go ahead and cook up, I think it just says two pieces of toast. Yeah, two slices of white or wheat toast. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my toast in the toaster oven over here. spraying it. Oh yeah, it does put uh, one teaspoon of salted butter. So let's get that out. And have that here. And we're going to go ahead and melt that up in the pan. So turn your flame on. Put your butter in there. Okay. And you're going to just let that kind of melt up a little bit. It says to use low heat. I am going to use a medium heat just because that's what I'm used to. Now, what's the great thing about scrambled eggs? Scrambled eggs are excuse me a minute. Scrambled eggs are great because they're versatile. So there are tons of things that you can do with scrambled eggs. You can just eat them regular, like scrambled eggs. Now, this is actually a little bit different for me because I always add milk into my scrambled eggs. So it's the eggs with some milk and then salt and pepper, and then whisk it up, and then put it in the pan. Now, I don't know why I put milk in it. I don't know if that's not how they were usually done, but that's how I was taught how to do scrambled eggs. So this is just eggs with a little bit of butter. 
Now, what's so versatile about scrambled eggs? Well, you can add a lot of stuff to them. I've added hot dogs to them, cheese to them, even peas to them. They're a good thing, like if you have kids at home who don't like to eat vegetables, or even some adults who don't like vegetables just out there, you can cut them up and put them in your scrambled eggs. It kind of hide them, put a little cheese in there. They may not even know that the vegetables are there. You can season them with all kinds of stuff. You can put hot sauce in them. You can put any kind of seasoning you want in them that you think will taste good, um, stuff like that. They also can be served in several different ways. So you can serve them on toast. You can serve them on a tortilla. You can serve them um, even on a baked potato if you want. So there is, there, it's like a very simple thing to make in a, tons of different ways to make it. Okay, so now this pan's heated up and that butter's nice and melted. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Now, because your pan is already hot, it should start to, to um, kind of cook along the edges pretty quickly. So once you start to see that it's got just a little bit of a, I'll show you here, just a little bit. See that little bit of whiteness starting over here? That's when you know it's already cooking. And so I am just gonna scramble it. I'm gonna start pulling it in from the sides to the middle. Make sure I kind of go through the middle. Make sure you go all the way around. Oops, and I just found it in. There's still a yolk in there, got it. So make sure you're going all the way around the pan. Pop up my sausage again. There we go. Okay, so just keep shifting them around here. Get your eggs pulled out. Keep pulling it around from the sides to the center and go all the way around the edge. Oh, sounds like my toast might be done. Okay. And you kind of just keep doing this. Go ahead and shut these sausage off here. All the way around. And as you can see, you're starting to get the little bit, you're starting to get eggs. You're starting to see some scramble pieces. It does take a little bit, you know, it's not instantaneous. You just have to keep scraping them up and uh, eventually you'll get some scrambled eggs. Now, once you get them to a consistency, I would say probably like a runny scrambled egg, I guess you would say, you can shut the uh, fire off if you're using a fire or you're gonna shut the electricity off if you're using electricity. Um, and then uh, I would say if you're using an electric stove to go ahead and move them off of the, uh, the, the hot burner. Um, but you can, once it starts to get like soggy scrambled eggs, then you can take them off of the fire and just keep messing with them and they'll keep cooking for a little bit and cook up till they're nice and firm. Okay. Now, I usually uh, don't use the butter when I make scrambled eggs. I usually use the spray pan oil. But, you know, we'll make them this way because, like I said, what it says to do. There are so many different ways, I think, to make scrambled eggs. I'm sure other people use maybe even water instead of milk um, or make them like this without anything added. It's just the eggs. Um, I don't know that I've heard of anything else, but you could probably use quite a few different liquids if you want to make some weird different kind of scrambled eggs. I've heard of green eggs and ham, although that's not scrambled eggs. I think that's just over easy eggs. Maybe you could, you could put food dye in here. You could make green scrambled eggs or blue scrambled eggs, pink scrambled eggs. Okay, so as you can see, they're starting to get a little bit soggy here. Now I am gonna cook them just a little bit longer on the fire because they're not quite curdled up quite enough. They're almost there. I like to get them pretty close. There we go. Okay, so see you kinda got nice little curdles. That's what you want. You kinda want it curdled there. And you kinda shut your heat off and then just keep Moving them around, dicing them up. There 
There we go. Got them all nice and diced up. Okay, so we got some nice scrambled eggs there, you guys. All right, so let me go grab a piece of toast out of the toaster oven here. You can serve this on the toast. Put it on here. Made a little bit of a mess. Okay, you guys. So here we go. The airport scramble from the Home Alone, unofficial Home Alone cookbook. Looks great, nice piping hot. Add anything into these that you want. They're scrambled eggs. Eat them how you want. Who cares? All right. I forgot to, you guys, so you can add a little bit of uh, uh, finely chopped chives on top of there, too. I'll put some chives on there. Then you can eat right, it. So, of course, we got to give this a taste test to see how it tastes. I don't know that you're technically supposed to serve it. It doesn't really say to serve it on the toast. I'm just doing it that way. I kind of like it. I think this would be easier if you're making something to run for the airport because you can just hold the scrambled eggs on the bread. Mm. Mm -hmm. Excellent, you guys. Mm -hmm. All right. This is a very quick thing to make if you are busy and you need something simple and fast to make scrambled eggs with a little bit of toast is the perfect idea. Okay, you guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Like and subscribe if you like, or don't if you don't. Everybody have a good day. Enjoy your cooking. Keep that kitchen messy, because you guys know mine always is. We'll see you later. Bye.